he's got he's got it on his head. We're going to end our visit with Paul McCready's Flying Circus by meeting his son, Tyler, who with his two brothers helped build the Gossamer Condor 25 years ago. <laughs> I could chase it like this for hours. When they got bored with their father's project, they invented an extraordinary little plane of their own. And I can control it by putting the lift on one side of the wing or on the other. They called it their walk-along glider. I've never seen anything like that. How old were you when you invented that? Oh, 10, 11, oh my 12, God. something like That's that. amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, you got to teach me how to do it. I, I, well, let me see, see if I can do it. <laughs> so what you need to do is you need to um, be moving at a walking speed before you let go of it so that basically you don't, you don't throw it. Yeah. You just let go of it, and it's already flying. Excuse me. The launch is the most difficult part. Well, it may be the part right after the launch, although Tyler is politely encouraging. You're getting it. Now, the, the second challenge, what you did there was get your hands behind it, uh -huh. which actually, it puts the lift near the trailing edge, and that makes a dive and makes the glider You want to get your hands you. under it, huh? Yeah, it's like a balancing act to, keep, you to, get your, your hands right to under keep your it? hands just in the right area so oh, that the I lift see. is lifting Instead the wing. Of not, be, not, not behind, not back here. Yep. And this underneath. way, it keeps the air go going up into the wings. So yep. I want to get them like that. I see. I couldn't see yep. that that's what you were doing. But also, if they're too far forward, it'll stall and slow down. Got it. Got it. OK. Woo. I had it for a few seconds. <laughs> that was great. Now the next challenge is to get it flying up in front of your face, and you can actually take your hands away. That thing with the head must be very hard to get. Did you, oh. see, did you see how it jumped as soon as your head got under there? When my head got under it, it really picked up. Young kids can pick this up pretty quick because it, it does involve a bit of balancing, and it, so you have to learn a skill for it. Um, but uh, you did a fantastic job. I was amazed, especially even getting it up over your head some. Well, I got just a, fra a couple of seconds. No, but, but, it, but, but it was impressive. It's you had the idea. to see you do it, to see you control it with your head. I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it almost looks magical. Mm -hmm. And the, the most amazing thing is that you figured this out when you were 10 years old. I think that's, mm -hmm. that's incredible. It's, well, there, there, yeah. There's all this brain power that, the, that other 10-year-olds must have we're not making use of. Uh, this is absolutely. great. Absolutely. All we did, we didn't actually, you know, set out to invent something. All we did was keep pushing the limits of what we were capable of doing. You played, which is, huh? which is very common with, yeah, any sort yeah, of you child were, you game. Were, you were just playing. And it looks like your mm -hmm. dad keeps playing no matter how old he gets. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and, and pushing the limits of, yeah. of what his toys are capable of. Pushing the limits of what his toys are capable of. That's what Paul McCready has been doing with his toys for over 65 yeah, years now. I like it. And not just pushing the limits often going far beyond the limits of conventional airplane design. Lighter, bigger, slower, higher, smaller, quieter. All the time inspired by his boyhood dream of flying with the birds, a dream that even at the age of 75 is still very much alive.